Hello students, welcome to physics CET classes. I hope you are doing good. Very good. So today we are going to talk, we are going to start with a new chapter that is atoms and nuclei. So when you see in your books and that is the NCRT book, the two different chapters it is. So now for the competitive purpose, we are combining both the chapters, atoms and nuclei. Okay, so before we start up with the multiple choice questions, let us go through with some formulas related to this particular chapters. Okay. So as you all know that uh, the atoms, whatever we have studied, okay, so So in the previous, you have studied about the DNA nature. Okay, all that the continuation of that particular chapters only. Okay, here yeah, the first thing what we are going to study is nothing but Rutherford model of atom. As you have said about the different theories related to that. Okay, so different theories related to that particular point. So based on that. <laughs> The one of the theory is nothing but a Rutherford model of atom. So how the electron alpha particle laser is going to be flowing everything. So in that the first thing you have to remember that. So how that uh, Rutherford scattering of that formula. Okay, so you have to go through with this. N E is equal to N n t z square that is a small n is nothing but the number of atoms so t times z square so that formula okay then impact parameter that formula is very very important what is your what is uh, the impact parameter so you have studied that in the theory this formula is very very important then the closest uh, approach the distance of closest approach is given in this formula okay so you have to go through with that thoroughly then Bohr's model under that we have studied about the three postulates okay the first postulate is nothing but the angular momentum of the electron that is L is equal to nh by 2 pi or we can write that L as nvr so NVR is equal to NH by 2 pi. Okay, the next postulate we are going to say that okay, it is equal in the circumference. So initially you can say that the orbits are stationary. Okay, that is the first. This postulate is equal and whatever the above postulate, we can also equate that to the circumference that is lambda n. Okay, so that is one of the thing that is L is equal to same same thing we are going to get. Then it jumps from higher orbit to the lower orbit, or uh, higher orbit to the lower orbit. So frequency is given as H E sorry E two minus E one by H. Okay, so that's the formula. Then both formula is very important under the, the radius this formula is very important it is 4 by okay so where rn is nothing but 0 0.05 newton sorry 0 0.05 n square by z so next is the velocity formula then kinetic energy formula Kinetic energy formula in terms of radius and afterwards that radius is going to be substituted and finally this is a general equation okay minus that is 13.6 uh, square by n square okay then potential energy 
Potential energy. The potential energy, then the total energy is given as minus 13.6. Okay, this is the total energy formula. So this is the total energy formula. Then frequency formula. Frequency formula. Then wavelength. This is also very, very important. Based on this, you have the numericals. Okay, this is also very, very important. Okay. And then this, the number of spectral lines due to the transmission. This is the direct formula to substitute some particular values in line spectrum. Okay. Then ionization energy is given as then potential ionization potential energy. So energy quantization in terms of L and then angular momentum. Okay, these are the formulas we have to remember in the case of atoms. You please make a note of that neatly.
So at least the capital A terrain and the number of spectral lines due to the transmission of the electron from n orbit to the lower orbit. Our uh, formula na note mark kore. Okay, our uh, kailang ionization and ionization ionization po energy and potential. Kanta the previous thing whatever we have highlighted. You please make a note of that. I hope you are done with that. Okay. So the next topic is based on the nuclei. Okay. So the nuclei, uh, the very important thing you have to remember the composition and size of the nucleus, right? So atom has the nucleus, the nucleus is positively charged. All that in detail, you would have studied in your theory concepts. So here you have to just remember about what is a nuclear radius. So it is given as R is equal to R naught. Okay, R is equal to R naught, A to the power one by three. Nuclear density is given as mass of the nucleus divided by volume of the nucleus. Okay, then mass defect delta M is given as ZMP plus A minus Z, MN minus MN. Okay. Next, the binding energy. It is given as delta M C square. Okay, all this in terms of mega electron volt. Okay, the binding energy per nucleon. That is nothing but the specific binding energy. It is given as Eb by A. This is nothing but the specific binding energy per nucleon. Next, the law of radioactivity is given as dN by dT is equal to minus lambda n into T. Minus lambda n into T. So finally, when you do that derivation, nT is equal to n naught e to the power mm, e to the power minus lambda t okay and uh, the types of nuclei that is also very very important that is isotopes isobars isotones so definitions here are the isotopes and the, these are the nuclei of same element having same atomic number but different mass number atomic number will be same but mass number will be different so this kind of nuclei we are going to call it as isotopes. Please remember, isobars and uh, the nuclei of different elements having same same mass number but different so different atomic number. So mass number same rate, but atomic number different rate. Isotones and having same neutron but different mass number. Mass number different but same neutron. That is this three you have to remember. The next is uh, half life. Okay, so half life half life of radioactivity is given as 0 0.693 divided by lambda. Next, so mean life is given as tau is equal to. 1 by lambda, 1 by lambda or T half is equal to 0 0.69. Next to activity and Reno, the number of disintegration occurring in the radioactive substance per second. So R is equal to minus dN by dT. Okay. Next to fraction of nuclei left and decayed after N half life that is given by. This is the formula. Okay. So alpha decay is nothing but disintegration. However, the total energy disintegrating Okay. So next in the case of kinetic energy of alpha. Next beta. Okay. So and uh, neutron reproduction factor. 
it is nothing but rate of production of neutrons divided by rate of loss of neutrons that is very very important so these are the points the few points you have to remember in the case of nuclear topic nuclear okay please make a note of this So I hope you are done with that. Okay, we'll go with the numericals. The first thing, the matter waves are associated with 
their matter waves are associated with moving material particles it is based on moving material particles so option 4 it's directly the theory question in an atom the ratio of radius of the orbit of electron to the radius of nucleus is so you should know about the radius of orbit of electron it is uh electron it is 10 to the power minus 10 meter okay for the nucleus it is 10 to the power minus 15 so they are asking the ratio means 10 to the power minus 10 divided by 10 to the power minus 15 so 10 to the power minus 10 plus 15 it is 10 to the power 5 So option three. Okay. So hydrogen atom does not uh, hydrogen atom does not emit X rays because its energy levels are very close to each other. Its energy levels are very close to each other so option 1 which of the following which of the following series in the spectrum of hydrogen atom lies in the visible region of the electromagnetic spectrum mm, visible it is nothing but bamer so uh, i think you would have studied about energy level diagram so based on that it is bamer series so why because the transmission from higher state to n is equal to 2 lead to the emission of the radiation with the wavelengths 656 nanometer to 365 nanometer these wavelengths fall in the in between the why because it is 400 nanometer to 750 nanometer so it lies in between this visible region and that constitutes the bamer series i hope you are clear with that next the relationship between the kinetic energy and the potential energy of the electron moving in a orbit around the nucleus is Mm-hmm. so you have the formula mm-hmm. so you have the formula related to that so what is the potential energy formula mm-hmm. so Hmm. So, what is the potential energy formula? So, U is equal to minus E square divided by four pi epsilon naught R. So, kinetic energy K is equal to E square divided by eight pi epsilon naught r.
Hmm. So you have to think that. So use formula quotation and use formula quotation. Sorry, uh, potential energy formula and kinetic energy formula quotation. So work out my e to the power 4 e pi epsilon naught r is equal to so 1 by 2 e square 4 pi epsilon naught r. is equal to minus u so u is equal to minus 2 so Rigmatira ignore this can be written as this can be written as k is equal to 1 by 2 martini e to the power 2 e square 4 pi epsilon naught so it's nothing but u na e na u half minus u agate but nani bekara the u so u is equal to minus 2k so option 2 u is equal to minus 2k so next one the shortest wavelength in the bomber so please remember n1 is equal to 2 n2 is equal to infinity so the formula in 1 by lambda is equal to r into 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square so will you people solve this solve my lambda candidate So R bandi already quoted. N1 bandi 2 square. 
ಹೆಚ್ಚಾಗ ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಝೀರೋ ನೈನ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಇಂಟು ಟೆನ್ ಟು ದ ಪವರ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಫೋರ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಅಷ್ಟೆ ಸೊ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಇನ್ಫಿನಿಟಿ ಇಸ್ ಝೀರೋ ಸೊ ಇದನ್ನು ಲ್ಯಾಮ್ಡಾ ಬೇಕು ನನಗೆ ಅದನ್ನ ರೆಸಿಪ್ರೋಕಲ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಫೋರ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಝೀರೋ ನೈನ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಇಂಟು ಟೆನ್ ಟು ದ ಪವರ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಸೊ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ತ್ರೀ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಏನೋ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ನಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ತ್ರೀ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ರಫ್ ಆಗಿ ತಗೊಂಡ್ರು ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಝೀರೋ ನೈನ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಒನ್ ಅಂತ ತಗೊಂಡ್ರು ಫೋರ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಒನ್ ಇಂಟು ಟೆನ್ ಟು ದ ಪವರ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಸೊ ಲಿಟ್ರಲಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಫೋರ್ ಆ ಥರ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಸೊ ಫೋರ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೋರ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಫೋರ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ನಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಪ್ರಾಕ್ಸಿಮೇಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ರಫ್ ಆಗಿ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಸೊ that is 364.6 nano meter so option 4 is the right answer okay so you are clear with that right so we we'll move to the next problem the angular speed of the electron in the nth orbit of bohr hydrogen atom bohr hydrogen atom okay so bohr hydrogen atom as you know that uh, angular speed the relation if you take it as it is omega is equal to v by r okay so i'm going to take the relation v is inversely proportional to n right and r is directly proportional to n square so you can substitute so 1 by n divided by n square and then omega is proportional to 1 by n cube so 1 divided by n cube so illi there is a typing error it is inversely proportional to n cube agbe inversely proportional n cube agbe so option 4 is the right answer of the following trans next problem of the following transitions in hydrogen atom the one which gives an absorption line of highest frequency is okay as you know that uh, delta e okay delta e is equal to h mu hence mu is highest if it if mu should be highest so delta e should be maximum delta e should be maximum so ever e delta e maximum irutte when it jumps from n 1 to n is equal to 2 transition aadaga so for absorption it should be transition from lower energy level to the higher energy level lower energy level to the higher energy level so from that we can say it is option 1 okay then the line lines of bama series are emitted by the hydrogen atom by the hydrogen atom when electron jumps when electron jumps from higher orbit to the second ekandre bama alwa so it is higher orbit to the second orbit first bandi line anno next to bama 
ಸೊ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಆರ್ಬಿಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಗಬೇಕು ಇನ್ ರುದರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆರಿಮೆಂಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಂಗಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಲ್ಫಾ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅನ್ ಇಂಪ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಾಮೀಟರ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಜೀರೋ ಇಫ್ ಬಿ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಜೀರೋ ಆಗಬೇಕು ಅಂದರೆ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಆಂಗಲ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಸೊ ಇದು ಜನರಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಆ ನೋಟಲ್ಲಿ ಓದಿರ್ತೀರಾ ದ ತ್ರೀ ಕೇಸಸ್ ಯುಡ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಜೀರೋ ಅಂತ ತ್ರೀ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಕೇಸಸ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ಯಾರಾಮೀ ಇಂಪ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಾಮೀಟರ್ ಜೀರೋ ಆಗಬೇಕು ಅಂದರೆ ಆಲ್ಫಾ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಗಲ್ ಶುಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಗಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಗಲ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಒನ್ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಓಕೆ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸಚ್ಯುಯೇಷನ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ನೇ ರುದರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆರಿಮೆಂಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಎ ಪ್ರೊಜೆಕ್ಟೈಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಝೆಡ್ ಒನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಎಮ್ ಒನ್ ಅಪ್ರೋಚಸ್ ಎ ಟಾರ್ಗೆಟ್ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಝೆಡ್ ಟು ಅಂಡ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಎಮ್ ಟು ದ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕ್ಲೋಸೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅಪ್ರೋಚಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ದ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪ್ರೊಜೆಕ್ಟೈಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೊ ಆಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ದಟ್ ದ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪ್ರೊಜೆಕ್ಟೈಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಆಸ್ ಸೊ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪ್ರೊಜೆಕ್ಟೈಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಆಸ್ ಝೆಡ್ ಇ ಟು ಇ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಫೋರ್ ಬೈ ಎಪ್ಸುಲಾನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಪ್ರೋಚ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಝೆಡ್ ಇನ ಝೆಡ್ ಒನ್ ಟು ಇ ನ ಝೆಡ್ ಟು ಓಕೆ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಫೋರ್ ಪೈ ಎಪ್ಸುಲಾನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಂತ ಬರೀತೀನಿ ದಸ್ ದ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರೊಜೆಕ್ಟೈಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಪೋರ್ಷನಲ್ ಟು ಝೆಡ್ ಒನ್ ಝೆಡ್ ಟು ಕರೆಕ್ಟ ಸೊ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಒನ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಕೈನೆಟಿಕ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ರೈಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ an electron changes its position from orbit 10 is equal to 2 to orbit 10 is equal to 4 of an atom the wavelength of the emitter radiations is okay so you have the formula 1 by lambda is equal to r 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square so we we can take it as n1 is 2 n2 is 4 okay so you want to find lambda right so keep r as it is so 1 divided by 4 right 2 square and the 4 minus 4 4 is 16 ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಆರ್ ಇಂಟು ಎಲ್ ಸಿ ಎಮ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊತ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ಇಂಟು ಫೋರ್ ಸೊ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಎಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಸೊ ಆರ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ಇಂಟು ಫೋರ್ ಸೊ ಫೋರ್ ಒನ್ ಝಾರ್ ಫೋರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಝಾರ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಆರ್ ಬೈ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ಇಸ್ 1 by lambda but nangen beko lambda lambda is equal to 16 divided by 3r that is the final answer option 2 clear aita okay next problem which of the following parameters are same for all hydrogen like atoms and ions in their ground states in their ground state and the tonte so same yavudu irutte orbital angular momentum of the electron okay uh, dependent on 
the orbital angular momentum of an electron is independent of mass of orbiting particle and mass of nucleus so the key option four ekandadu independent agirutte independent of mass of the orbiting particle and mass of nuclei okay when hydrogen atom is in its first excited level its radius is okay first you remember this is a general formula r is equal to r not n square divided by z so ground state alli r not by z yakandre ground state alli n is equal to 1 okay next to excited first excited state so next to n is equal to 2 na again it to r is equal to r not n and 4 divided by z so ga consider maadha ga you can see idu r1 no idu r2 so R2 is 4 times the R1 agate. So 4 times is ground state. R1 and no, it's a ground state. R2 is nothing but excited level. We're done. Yes, next problem. In a hydrogen atom, following the Bose postulate, the product of linear momentum and angular momentum is proportional to x. Sorry, n to the power x, where n is the orbit number, then x is okay see the one thing you have to remember the angular momentum okay you can say angular momentum is proportional to 1 by n number of orbits here but the uh, sorry linear momentum is inversely proportional to n but angular momentum is directly proportional to n so if you merge this two okay so it will be n by n under one agate. So I can write n to the power zero only. So x will be zero. So you please to remember that linear momentum are inversely proportional, no? angular momentum are directly proportional agate. Okay. Next up, the spectrum obtained from a sodium vapor lamp is an example of the spectrum obtained from a radium sorry sodium vapor lamp is an example of emission spectrum uh, andre a spectrum is observed right when light coming directly from a source is examined with the uh, spectroscope so spectroscope in the observe mardaga Spectrum obtained from the sodium lamp is emission spectrum. Option C. Okay, next. So according to the according to both theory of hydrogen atom, according to the both theory of hydrogen atom the angular momentum the angular momentum of an electron in any orbit of hydrogen atom angular momentum of an 
of an electron in any orbit of hydrogen atom is is we can take it as L is equal to MVR that is equal to NH by 2 pi. As R is directly proportional to N square, L is proportional to root R. So square root of R that is option 4. According to Bohr model of hydrogen atom, radiation is emitted when the electron when the electron jumps from larger orbit to the smaller orbit. Direct question. We are done. Clear? The following statements the following statements are following statements are all true are all true which one did Rutherford consider to be supported by the results of the experiments in which the alpha particles were scattered by gold foil gold foil so as you know that some of the alpha particles was found to be scattered at very large angles in spite of having very high kinetic energy uh, from this what you would have understood the alpha particles which will be coming very close to the nucleus Rutherford confined that the repulsive force on the alpha particle due to nucleus varies with the distance according to inverse square law. So the angular velocity, as you know that the angular velocity of the electron is quantized. Okay, based on this, you can say the force of repulsion between an atomic nucleus and an alpha particles varies with the distance in terms of squares law. Okay, so as you know that explanation, some of the alpha particles was found to be scattered at very large angles in spite of having very high kinetic energy. So from this, what you understood, alpha particles which will be passing very close to Nucleus. So from this Rutherford and Kankul Mada, the force of repulsion between an atom nucleus and an alpha particle varies with distance according the inverse square law. Inverse square law. According to the both model of hydrogen atom. The linear velocity, la, momentum, la, angular, la. linear momentum, la, angular velocity. La, mean. So, angular momentum of the electron is quantized. Option 4. This is directly the theory question, theory based on it. According to the Bohr theory of hydrogen atom, the speed of the electron, its energy and the radius of the orbit varies with the m. So, yautara vary agatte anta kelta So, you can say for the speed of electron, so V is inversely proportional to M. For uh, energy, it is uh, E is 
inversely proportional to n square for radius r is directly proportional to n square so speed ge 1 by n energy ge 1 by n square radius ge n square so option 4 Okay, so you are clear. Right. Next, a photon is emitted by a hydrogen atom when it comes from excited state n is equal to phi to the ground state. The recoil speed is almost. You have the formula P is equal to H mu by C. But uh, P can be written as MV is equal to H mu by C. So V is equal to H mu by MC. MC. Mm. But you have one formula for energy. So you can write this H mu as EM Tabariboda E divided by MC, but uh, E is equal to 13.6 divided by N square. So 13.6 divided by 5 square and 25. Oh, oh, ground state to go Okay. Mm, Thirteen point. Uh... So, why? Because it is jumping from a ground state to a jump after n and n target in the ground state to move after So, I have formula in the combo 13.6 1 minus 1 by. 25 solve margaga you will be getting 13 approximately 13.6 minus 1 by 25 13.6 minus 13.6 divided by 25 solve margaga roughly you will be getting e is equal to 13 electron volt leader so again i to So 13 divided by mass of 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 27 into speed of 3 into 10 to the power 8. So solve Madhidana will get the answer. But in and the electron volt and the other joules to convert mud by Sandre into one point six into ten to the power minus nineteen. 
ಸೊ ಅದು ಅಪ್ರಾಕ್ಸಿಮೇಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಬೋದು ಸೊ ಯಾವುದು ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸು ಇದು ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಅಪ್ರಾಕ್ಸಿಮೇಟ್ಲಿ ಆಕ್ಸಸ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಥರ್ಟೀನ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ತ್ರೀ ಬಂದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಇಲ್ ಬಿ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಫೋರ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇಂಟು ಟೆನ್ ಟು ದ ಪವರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಏಯ್ಟು ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಸರ್ ಅಷ್ಟು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸಲ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಅಪ್ರಾಕ್ಸಿಮೇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ಪರ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ವೆಲಾಸಿಟಿ ಇದಷ್ಟು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸಲ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ತ್ರೀ ಸೊ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಯಾವ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಪಿ ಜನರಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಗೊತ್ತಿರಬೇಕು ಏನು ಪಿ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಎಚ್ ಮ್ಯೂ ಬೈ ಸಿ ಪಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಆಸ್ ಎಮ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ವಿ ವಿ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಎಚ್ ಮ್ಯೂ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಎಮ್ ಸಿ ಎಚ್ ಮ್ಯೂ ಅಂದರೆ ಇ ಇ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಎಮ್ ಸಿ ಸೊ ಈಗ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಏನು ತರ್ಟೀನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಎನ್ ಒನ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಎನ್ ಟು ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಎನ್ ಟು ಎನ್ ಟು ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಎನ್ ಒನ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾವ ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಎನ್ ಒನ್ ಬಂದು ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಎನ್ ಟು ಬಂದು ಹೈಯರ್ ಹೈಯರ್ ಆರ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಲೋಯರ್ ಆರ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಜಂಪ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಅದನ್ನು ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿಫೈ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ವೋಲ್ಟಲ್ ಇದೆ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಟು ಜೌಲ್ಸಿ ಸೊ ಇಂಟು ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟು ಟೆನ್ ಟು ದ ಪವರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಸೊ ಅದನ್ನ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಇಂಟು ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಅಪ್ರಾಕ್ಸಿಮೇಟ್ಲಿ ಫೋರ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ಪರ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ So I hope you are clear with that. Done. So the next thing, next part in it, we'll continue in the next class okay so thank you all have a great day